Welcome to WBT Basic Operations Training for Software Version 2.0. Prerequisites for this training are understanding the WBT Quick Start Steps so you can set up the device, how to update the WBT software so you can get version 2.2 or higher. We want to briefly meet these objectives to get you the home screen, spectrum view, the status bar and the colors for the instrument, how to lock the status bar, the system tools bar, setting up the center frequencies, and understanding the tuner configurations. So let's look at the status bar. Across the top you'll see yellow for the idle state of the device on the two tuners, blue for a disk drive that's active, black for a disk drive that is not present, and the status of the disk's recording. This is the system time and whether or not a GPS lock is engaged, and this is the Wi-Fi. The viewer automatically expands to fill the full screen if it's not locked. Looks like this. You need to touch the central area somewhere and hit the lock button to prevent that behavior. The state of the machine is shown by the color of the FFT display and the status bar at the top, yellow for idle, red for record. If I press the stop button here, the new recorded data shows up here in this data file. If I press the play button, it retransmits the data file that was just recorded and the status shows green for playback. We'll look at the tuner view tabs, the center frequency scrub bar, the span drop down, and the FFT chart. Here's the tuner tabs. We're right now we're on tuner A at 836 MHz. This is the uplink for cellular in this area. Here's tuner B. This is the cellular downlink. These are cellular signals coming into the room here. The center frequency scrub. You can hold it down until it turns active. You can slide it and it'll change the center frequency. You can see it changing the frequency and when you let go, the radio retunes itself. The span drop down shows you the choices that you have. Selecting 50 megahertz rather will set the center frequency to 50 megahertz at the current center frequency. You can set the center frequency for either tuner with the keypad frequency pop-up and see the results in the FFT chart. Let's change this to 885. And then moves the line. Sets the new value. You can also hold on the graph at any point. It will tell you the new measure. When you release your finger, it will recenter to the new number. Here's a quick review of the system toolbar. The record icon, the play, the loop playback, the show all, the lock and unlock, and the about. The record will pop up the antenna connection confirmation to ensure that you've connected the antenna to the correct ports. Starts the record, changes to a stop icon, press stop. The loaded file appears here. Press play to play back the signal. Press stop. If you want to loop the playback repeatedly, hit the loop back icon and then hit play. Now this short file will repeatedly loop continually like a music player will do. Until you press stop. Here's show both views. This splits the screen and shows both tuners with the distance in between in proportion. In this case you can read it because the cellular downlink isn't too far away from the cellular uplink. Click it again to go back to the normal view by tabs. Here's the lock unlock, and here's the info button where you can check for updates. The data file view from this button brings up all the data across both disks. You can read the descriptions and the links, select the file that you want, and open it, which places it in this ready position. Now when you place, press the play button, be playing that file back. Here's the session information. You can preset center frequencies and spans, save them, 
and name them, in this case American Cellular and AB configuration with 225 spans. Here's the config settings where you have display capability and then the tuners RX attenuation by spinner, transmit gain adjustment, and very important to use the special use connector on the outside and enable its 3 volt power supply. The special use connectors on the WBT210 ruggedized version are shown in the red box here. They are receive only, they don't transmit. That's why the software presents you with an antenna choice menu when you press the record button. And on the WBT200 touchscreen model, the top panel shows the special use connectors as number 6 and 7 in this diagram. The WBT200 models support 80 megahertz of combined bandwidth, and the span selections affect the recording time that fits on a solid state drive. Back to the review of the rest of the toolbars. So the WBT has automatic domain IP detection under the network settings. To learn the network settings and the VNC setup, see the video, How to Use VNC with your WBT. A powerful set of features in the WBT is the app space. Come into the apps. To learn how to load apps, see the video on How to Load Apps in your WBT. Here's an X-Term window as an example. Click the activation button, it loads, you hit the open button, now you have an X terminal for debugging purposes. Available from the help button, all the major features of the product are listed in this pop-up, and that completes our tour. Thanks for stopping by.